The Mendocino Community High School graduation is a unique and personal ceremony where each student, after being introduced by a staff member, is honored by their friends and family who speak to them in front of the community. While we can't gather and celebrate in our school's main room this year, we hope to maintain the essence of the community school graduation through this collective video. And now we would like to introduce each of the graduates. Hey class of 2020, you made it through this long, strange spring. Don't forget to get outside, play a little bit, and uh, put your phones away. Oh yeah, and don't forget to vote. I'll miss you guys. Hey, congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. I'm so proud of you, and I can't wait to see what you do next. I would like to wish the historic graduating class of 2020 the best of luck in continuing to successfully develop your prefrontal cortexes. Keep checking in with yourselves, stay mindful, and follow your dreams. Hey y'all, to celebrate your graduation, I wrote you a little haiku. It goes like this. The world has grown strange, so be lovers and fighters and win your future. Congrats, proud of you, stay well.
And now, the presentation of diplomas. This diploma reads, Lou Eagle Hug. Lou, you epitomize the spirit of the community school. What is it about you elk kids? Your intelligence, confidence, style, and grace fill the main room every day. People flock to you. You're surrounded by friends. You're an excellent student with an artistic eye. Your films have brought an international flair to our school by filming everyday scenes of Paris and France and all over the world and sharing them with the comm school. And your senior project's doing the same thing this year by filming your friends and students of the comm school. I know you're going to soar as you travel abroad to study French in the future. Hello everyone, this is Joël. I am Lou's mom and I am here to thank everybody for their amazing support of Lou. Thank you all the staff at the Com School, Camilla and Emily and Derek and James and Rain for holding and helping Lou go through this last four years um, in such a graceful way and lovely way. Thank you. I want to thank Lou's other mothers who have been in her life, loving her, cherishing her, and helping her grow in such a beautiful way. So thank you, Yaro and Eva and Connie, and I want to thank Caroline as well. Um, and so here you go, Lou. This is it. High school is over. Yeeha. Um, it's not going to be France quite yet, but it will be France at some point. Um, I am always amazed by you. Um, you have been always a very strong and yet very loving person. Um, and so I have total faith in you and, and I'm so looking forward to see who you are going to become and what is next for you. Um, I do appreciate your compassion for others, your care for your friends, and for me and your brother, Alyosha. Um, your heart is big, and I know that will be something in your life always that moves you. Your heart will move you forward. So I... I'm wishing you all the best you can ever wish to have. And I love you. This next diploma reads Xavion A. Bishop. Xavion, I know you don't want to hear this, but you're smart and funny and talented. I know you don't want to believe it, but I've seen the beautiful things you make. I've read your sophisticated criticism of a wide variety of art, and I've heard you crack the room up. I'm offering this as definitive proof that you are a creative, dynamic force and that you can do anything you want. No matter what you do, though, I'm sure you'll also bring kindness and generosity. Hi, son. It's mom. Just wanted to say congratulations and tell you how proud I am of you. I'm super excited to see what you'll do in your future. Take your time and make your decisions wisely. You always do. You weigh them out well. I love you. Good luck. Hi! All right, congratulations, Uncle Xavier, on graduating. <laughs> we love you. We love you. This is the second time we're taking this video. Good job getting everything done despite not being in school. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. It's a big step, big next step. Good luck on it in your journey. Yay. And we miss you a lot. And, uh -huh. uh, we know uh, we don't know what's coming next, but we know whatever you choose, you're gonna do great at it. Yep. yep. And bye bye. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, and we're glad you. We, we glad we're glad you're safe. And we're we praying for you for the rest. Yeah. Bye bye. Oh, yeah. No, okay. not everybody, yet. Everybody, everybody says, everybody says hello. Everybody gets kisses. Bye. bye 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 bye. Hi. You've been my partner in crime since day one. Whether it be sneaking a Jello cup to share in the laundry room, even when we were toddlers, or playing video games together, 
You have always been there, even when we didn't get along, God knows as often. You're gonna do great things, even no matter how much you might doubt yourself. You've always been your biggest critic, even though you do so much awesome stuff. You're gonna do great in whatever you do, you just need to remember that everything takes time to master. Any way you choose to go in life, I know you're gonna do great, and I love you. <laughs> ha! This next diploma reads Rose Lokoliolani Ikamakahiki Parker Akau. Rose, your particular curiosities and talents with animal husbandry are a through line in your life. You've raised everything from honeybees to pythons. During travels abroad, you've expanded your awareness of cultures, established your own values and beliefs, and gained skills such as carpentry, which you use to build a sauna for your senior project. Your dedication to your own success is admirable, but so is your incomparable sense of humor, which we will all truly miss. Enjoy your gap year as you pursue sustainable farming projects and volunteer with the Holy Goats. Congratulations, Rose, on a super successful high school career. You never cease to amaze me. Started with your artwork at a really young age, and um, I see it in the way you behave with your animals. Um, I think that you are a capable, strong-minded, strong-willed individual. You are a true seeker of knowledge and wisdom. I value your opinion and your advice. It's been an honor and a privilege to be your mom. Thank you for opening my eyes, my heart, and my mind to all the things of your world, for challenging me and for making me a better person. I love you. Hi Rose, happy graduation. I love you and I know you get the things you want out of life because you are a strong, determined, and brilliant human being. I love you. Hey Rose, um, I just wanted to say congratulations for your completion of high school. Um, we're all very proud of you. You worked very hard, put a lot of time and energy and effort, and I really appreciate that. And I'm excited about what comes next. Um, it's your time, so seize the moment. Good luck, I love you. Hi Rose, it's Kona. I'm here to just give you congratulations on graduating. And um, I just want to say that I love you and I know that everything you do in life is going to be great. So um, I'm hopeful that I'll be there for all those moments. Um, I love you. And yeah, just congratulations. Good luck in the future. looking into the camera. Yes. See, I could carry her anywhere because she does this. She's like a backpack, but also a scarf. Everything out. Oh, <laughs> She's the littlest, so she gets to the utter last. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but she's kind of bad at actually bottle feeding. <laughs> See, this one actually drinks.
used to be cute when she would go after my eye. And then she got bigger. And then it became less cute. Why was it cute in the first place? Because it would look like she would come, be coming straight at my face. And she really was. But now it could hurt me. <laughs> it's okay. Let me collect you. Will you remain perched on me? Will you remain? I know you will remain, Moth. I don't I don't trust Moth on my head anymore. Why? She did things. What did she do? She crapped. <laughs> <laughs> This next diploma reads, Heather Joy Fuhong Brogan Gailey. Heather came to the Mendocino Community High School as a sophomore, and it has been a privilege to have her in our community. Heather approaches everything in life with care and attention to detail. Her work ethic surpasses that of many adults, and her strong desire to do well is evident in everything she does. Heather shines artistically, athletically, and academically. Heather will be attending the University of British Columbia in Vancouver, Canada, and we know she will continue to thrive and grow. Heather, we will miss you very much. What an absolute honor it has been to call Heather my intern. She's done such incredible work for us here at the Noya Center. We are going to miss her, and we are so proud of her, and we wish her good luck on her journey. Heather, in our conversation over the years, I have so come to appreciate your mind, your right brain that is spontaneous and thinks outside the box, your left brain that organizes and synthesizes and probes. I look forward to watching what happens to you in the next 10 years because I think you'll be a creative force wherever you go. Congratulations, Heather, on your high school graduation, 2020. You were always a bright shining star at Johanna's Country Child Care, and I admired your amazing creativity even when you were only three years old. I would always give you a new toy first so I could learn how to play with it. I wish you many blessings in the next chapter of your life, Heather. I know it will be awesome. Congratulations. Heather, we admire you and we are grateful to have you in our family and community. We are sad that you may travel far for your studies, but we're excited to think of all the great experiences you are in for. Hey Heather, congratulations on graduating and I'm really proud of you for getting into your dream school and I'm also proud of everything you've accomplished artistically, charity work, and obviously educationally and I'm sure you're going to do great in whatever you pursue and again, I'm just really happy for you. Congratulations Heather. Yep. And keep drawing that like we need to tell you that because you do it all the time and always have. So anyway, we'll see you in BC later. Yeah, and go get him. Yep. We're so proud of you and happy for you. Yeah. As soon as you could hold a pen, you've started creating worlds. You've grown into a thoughtful, caring, and creative person who will succeed in anything you put your mind to. Go out and do amazing things. We love you. Heather, it's been a blast watching you grow and evolve over the years. You amaze us all the time, and you are so... Outgoing. Bombastic. She's cool. Sporty. Intelligent. Adventurous. And intense. Your next adventure is going to be great, eh? We think we'll go with you. Oh, Canada. This diploma reads Morgan Rossiter. Morgan, I've known you since you were a small lad taking flute lessons from Mindy, and 
your musical talents still shine. I know you're independent and you really seek solitude, but those of us who know you really appreciate your deep intelligence, your wit, and of course your mischievous sense of humor. And I know I'm gonna miss all those book sculptures in my room that you've left me over the years. Morgan, I really appreciate that you ride your bike to school and I know that you're gonna continue pedaling that bicycle on into the future. Good luck. Congratulations to Morgan Rossiter on his graduation. Morgan is a talented musician and graphic artist who cares about animals and is a great cook. He also enjoys bike riding. Morgan's first word was kitty. He had cats in his life from a very young age. Around five years old, Morgan had chickens and he went through a chicken hypnotizing phase where we would often find a chicken lying completely still on its back on the front porch. At 12, Morgan's dog, Kiwi, came to us as a puppy. Morgan enjoys spending time with the chickens, the goats, and the pig. Morgan went to school at Casper Creek for kindergarten, and then he went to uh, Three Rivers for uh, first through eighth grade where Morgan enjoyed astronomy, riding his bike to school and band. Morgan played flute for several years and he plays at an advanced level. He skipped the sixth grade and he was on the honor roll throughout middle school. In high school, Morgan has especially excelled in Spanish, in media and in cooking. Morgan writes music compositions and is a capable graphic artist. We are so appreciative of all the staff and students at the community school that have accepted Morgan into their school family. And we are especially thankful for Derek and Kamala in this regard. Morgan, we love you so much and we're so proud of you. Congratulations. This next diploma reads Max Akiva Newstead, who hopes to travel abroad next year. Max, you possess the infuriating quality of being good at everything you do, seemingly without much effort. Many times I've thought I was going to catch you having not done the reading or having cut corners because the thing couldn't have been done so quickly. But every time I'm wrong, you've done it and got what you needed. I know we'll be blown away when you find that thing that truly challenges you, that you become obsessed with mastering. <laughs> Congratulations, Max! Congratulations, Max! We're up here at the gazebo in a rainstorm. In a storm. <laughs> we love you, and we are so amazingly lucky to be your parents. We, you've been such an easy guy to have as a son. You've always, we've never been worried about you. We always knew you would do amazing things and be wonderful in the world because you just have all the tools. You have the best of both of our traits and you don't have many of the bad ones, so good job on that. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and uh, the, One of our favorite stories and one of the main reasons we know that you're going to be wonderful and okay in the world is that when you were little, you would fall down a lot and you would run, 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 do crazy things and fall down. You'd fall down all the way down the stairs, boom, 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 or fall off the picnic table onto your head. And every time, no matter what, when you got hurt, you'd get right back up and say, I'm, I'm okay. okay. <laughs> and we knew that you were and you'd be fine. And so we know that you are okay and you will be fine and you will be able to do anything you put your mind to. We're so incredibly lucky to have you as our son. We love you. We love you so much. All right, Max. Since we couldn't be there in person and you've been coming to our graduation since you were one, we decided we'd make you a cousin's video. As the oldest and wisest cousin, I am gonna start. And I just wanna say I'm so proud of you. I'm sorry that we can't be there to get you through the last bit of high school, but I know that whatever you do next, you're gonna be great at it. And I have a big hug waiting for you when we're allowed to hug again. Uh, next up, we're gonna have some words from Dylan. Hi, Max. I know I haven't seen you for a while, but I am the most fun cousin. If you remember all those times where you fell on your head trying backflips on the trampoline, I'm glad to see you're okay from that and you made it through. And hopefully it doesn't affect you in your upcoming career. <laughs> 
Uh, and next we're gonna get some words from Clara. Max, I remember when you were born and you were a tiny baby and it seemed like this would never happen. But when I graduated from high school, you fell asleep in my lap and it was so cute. And now you're graduating. We're all really proud of you and excited for what comes next. Pause, didn't he? Never mind, we'll move on. <laughs> you're making too much video editing for me. And next Sorry. up, we're having some words from cousin Ben. Hi, Max. Congrats on bearing through the craziness of the world and on graduating high school. That's a huge accomplishment when you go to a super small, hippy-dippy high school, as I can testify from experience. It's crazy to think how far you've come from my most recent memory of you pretending to be trucks together on the steps of your house in California. But congratulations again and best wishes for the future. And now some from Adam. Max, my boy. Congratulations, my bad. The, I remember the last time I remember hanging out with you, we were just absolutely vibing in a hot tub. And I hope that you get to keep those just totally chill vibes with you. <laughs> uh, you've totally earned some rest and relaxation, my bad. Congratulations. And last but certainly not least, here's Miss Sarah. Top cousin coming at you. Greetings, Max. I wrote this song for you. <laughs> Give me an M. 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 Give me an A. A. Give me an X. X. What does that smell? Max. Okay. No more songs. Um, great job. <laughs> you did good things. Um, you could do whatever you want now. Um, I hope you do something fun. I love listening to those songs that you showed me when I saw you. I hope you continue to write some music. Um, and if you need some help, hit me up because all I do is write songs. Have a great time. Good job. Congratulations, Max. Congrats, Max. Yeah. Woo! Woo! This next diploma reads Serenity Elizabeth Bingen Dodson. Serenity, you have an unstoppable spirit. You took on circus arts as a sophomore, balancing a night job, schoolwork, and long after school circus practice sessions. And now you climb and soar on the straps with the joy and grace of a professional. Especially in the past two years, you've become a voice of leadership, confidence, and honesty in our community. And we all appreciate your willingness to show vulnerability as it fosters the trust and openness we try to create here at the Com School. We wish you the absolute best as you venture forth to Santa Cruz and Cabrilla Community College. When I think about my daughter and I think about Serenity, I'm just amazed uh, that here we are. Serenity, you're 18 already, and you're graduating high school, and I couldn't be more proud of you. A lot of years ago, when I first found out I was pregnant with you, I was so happy, and I didn't exactly know what to expect. And I just can't believe how much time has gone. One of the things that I'm absolutely grateful to you for is that you initiated me into being a mom. And it's one of the most rewarding things that I've ever done. Watching you grow up over the years has been a pleasure. And our experience over all these years have been so diversified and I feel absolutely confident that now that you are graduating high school that you're totally and completely ready to go out into the world. Show me that you're ready. Um, you're responsible, you're caring, you know how to take care of your stuff you're outgoing, um, you're going to take into this world a lot of skills, things that you've acquired, especially over this last few years during high school. You know, the fact that you've had a job for three years, um, the multiple clubs you've been on, culinary, and the comm school experience, which I think has been wonderful for you. It's allowed you to really blossom as well as Circus Mecca. 
I'm really, really proud of all those things. Um, you've really been able to let your light shine, and I'm really grateful for this time. And I look forward to seeing what you create in this world. <laughs> I love you to the stars and back, my dear. Congratulations. This next diploma reads Wesley L. Roberts Hamaki. Wesley is a kind and thoughtful human with a clever sense of humor. Watching Wesley develop his sense of self these past four years has been a great joy. The love that Wesley shares freely with those he cares about is one of my favorite things about him. Wesley is invested in his family and his friends and his capacity for kindness is vast. Wesley will find his way into the hearts of many as he continues to grow and evolve. I have no doubt, Wesley, that you will do great things and it is your generous and kind spirit that will set you apart from others. Wesley, I just want you to know as you graduate high school, son, that I am so happy for you and I couldn't be prouder of you. I love you, honey. I'm so proud of you and you are my heart. Hello, son. Just wanted to say congratulations to graduation from high school, 2020 senior. I'm super proud of you, super amazed. I got grandpa and grandma here. They're very proud of you and very happy also. And they love you very much. And they wish they could be here. But they're looking down. You've done a wonderful job, son. And it's been a tremendous 13 years. And uh, made me proud. So go forth into the world and grow and become whoever you're going to be. Do good. Be kind. I know you will. And, uh, yeah, that's about all, son. I love you with all my heart. So proud of you. So glad we made the move to Mendo. Best thing we ever did. Thank you, Mendocino, for my son and us having the most wonderful of times. Congratulations, son. This next diploma reads Christopher William Hayes. Chris, I'm so glad I've gotten to know you this year. And I'm really glad that you joined my outdoor leadership class as my aide. Your playfulness, your fun demeanor, and your leadership really helped to motivate those ninth grade students. As a student, you ask great questions and you're not afraid to share your opinions. You're talented beyond your awesome unicycling skills and you're pretty good with computers. You surround yourself with friends and you care deeply about the people around you. In the world of work, you're reliable and dependable. And these attributes will serve you well as you head off to lineman school next year. Good luck. You did it. You're graduating. And I am just as proud as I am surprised. And I'm very, very proud. <laughs> no, but you worked really, really hard to get to where you are today. And I'm sure there's a lot ahead of you. We're going into lineman school in the Midwest, and that's just going to be absolutely wild. You're going to have a really fruitful career, and I'm going to be a little bit jealous of the money you're making, but, you know, I'm probably going to catch up at some point. You're the best. I just, uh, you know, I'm really glad we both have our diplomas. We both got through. I mean, it's perfect. We have our whole lives ahead of us, and I know we're going to kill it. Happy graduation, Christopher. What a great nephew. I wish you the greatest. Um... You have the greatest resources and you have a great family, so use it. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> I have known you, Christopher, since the moment you were born. And you are one of the few people that I can say, I love you and like you more the older you get. I hope that you enjoy being a lineman, that you get to do that, and that you enjoy it and that all good things come to you because you're a sweetheart yes 
Rock on. Happy graduation. <laughs> Cheers. I know there were some times when you didn't think you might m you might not make it, but here you are, an old guy now. Yeah, stay that way. <laughs> but forever young. Love you lots. Love you. Yay! Yay! Congratulations, Christopher. It seems like just yesterday you were just a kid starting high school with nothing on your mind but video games and macaroni and cheese. And now you're a confident young man about to bring one journey to an end so another chapter may begin. It's been a joy to watch you grow over these past four years. We hope that you're as proud of yourself as we are of you for making this achievement and we want you to know how much we love you. We are excited and wish you the best of luck in all of your adventures. Walk tall, stay happy, and make the best of all your future opportunities. And, and never, never fear, if, if you stumble, stumble we'll be here. here. This next diploma reads Bayula Anderson, who will be attending the University of Puget Sound next year. Bayula, you possess the incredible capacity to put people at ease. You do this by spreading joy, by dancing around the main room with Lou, or just by laughing your unapologetic full-bodied laugh. You also use this quality to lead, modeling curiosity and intelligence. In some, these qualities are intimidating. In you, they are inviting, like you're inviting your friends to go on an adventure. I know this will help you find camaraderie and success wherever you go. Hi, Bayula, this is your mom. Um, I wanted to just take a minute to talk about how incredibly fortunate I feel to be your mom. You have been such a teacher for your dad and I. Um, ever since you were a tiny little baby, you have been a, a tour de force. So always um, just bursting with creativity and excitement and um, with a deep love for other beings and animals and just life in general. You've been an incredible support system for your brother and sister and a role model. You um, share these gifts with your friends and your community in a way that I feel like is um, a true gift to other people. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how you unfold in this next year at University of Puget Sound. I know that this is going to be an, another level for you to master and I, I feel like with the gifts that you bring, um, your beauty and creativity and artistic gifts and intelligence and bravery and courage, all of these things are going to serve you so well. Um, in this next phase of your life. And I'm just really so, um, so proud of you and all the work that you've put in. And, you know, and we just love you so much. And I'm just, I couldn't be prouder. Congratulations. Bayula, our big kiddo, uh, young woman now. Uh, wow, big days coming up end of high school dawning of uh i don't know moving off to college uh, i gotta say we are incredibly proud of you happy uh for you and um man can't wait to see you bring it even more as uh as you move on and out and up to uh see what life has to offer and um gosh i love you and uh bon voyage hey babe. Uh, good job, got into college, going to college, graduated, super cool, big stuff happening. So, you're the best, hope you have a great time, and, you know, have some fun, you know. So, yeah. Hey Bay, I love you so much, you're the best sister ever, and I hope you have an amazing time in college, and a great roommate. I just want to say congratulations, I'm so incredibly proud of you, your compassion, for others and your trueness of spirit, your passion for life, you truly make this world a better place. I love you endlessly, and I'm so blessed to be your Alma. Congratulations. Mwah. This next diploma reads John Summers.
John, the circle at the comm school always seems more alive when you're there with your unbridled enthusiasm and honest perspective. You have true acting talent as evidenced at every improv game at every retreat. You're a warm, empathetic friend and family member, and you're drawn to solve problems and help people through hard times, wearing your heart on your sleeve. May your particular interactive role-playing game experience ever inform your path forward. He's so experimental, and it's, and it's actually really freaking brave. If he doesn't like something you said, then he'll tell you straight up. I can respect that more than anything. John, congratulations for s surviving your adolescent career. I'm so proud of you and the person that you've become. My mom and dad taught me a couple things that I live by. It's the golden rule. Treat others as you would have them treat you. And what goes around comes around. So those are two important things I live by. You have good sense. And I think you know what's fair to listen to that and listen to everyone, but only take advice from people you trust. It's like the best advice ever. Congratulations, sweetheart. I'm so proud of you working hard to get through it. And I know some of it has been tough in a lot of different ways, but we're very proud of you and look forward to seeing what you're gonna do. Your grandmother and grandfather would be so proud of you. Congratulations, John. Didn't think you'd make it. Congratulations, I'm so proud of you for graduating high school. It's such a wonderful and scary time of your life where you get to kind of pick your next decision, your next path, and just enjoy what you can and try to, you know, just grasp every opportunity and live each day to the fullest and all those wonderful cliches that are all so true. Congratulations, John. <laughs> You're gonna do big things. Well, right on, John. You made it, and we're all proud of you because uh, this is kind of a really weird graduation ceremony. So I wrote a little song for you it's called Happy Graduation. Keep ready for life and bills. You gotta pay bills. Make sure there's gas in your car so you won't get hard. Get a job, don't be a slob. Have fun. That's it. That was a condensed version. John, live by the code that you have decided to live by. We love you, we're proud of you, and there is nothing that I would be able to say that you probably don't already know. See? Remember, everyone is the best. We're all people. Well done, you made it. I hope you're proud of you. There's always gonna be people who, who think you can't, or think you won't, or think you shouldn't but you have to listen to your heart and what you know is right and push through even when um, you get a lot of kickback. And you got it. Congratulations, Dr. Hi, John. Hey, John. Congratulations right off the bat. Way to go. And Super Grace is here to say hello as well. We love you. The advice I have to give is uh, spend time with yourself and be clear about your boundaries and always live life like it's instant adventure. There's always something around the corner. I love you so much. If you ever hit rock bottom, you can always fall back in our place. Congratulations! 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 Yeah. This next diploma reads Kirsten Lee Kintner, who plans to work after graduating. Kirsten, in addition to being a genuinely kind and thoughtful person, you've also provided one of the treasures of my teaching career, my quick glimpses of the art you doodle around the borders of all your work. You've always been skilled, but it's been rewarding to see how your art has evolved in painting and animation. Heal quickly because I'm sure you have the talent and devotion you need to turn your passion into a beautiful life for yourself. Hey Kirsten, I just wanted to start off by saying that you are an amazing human being through all of the troubles and obstacles that the world has thrown at you. You have had no problem toughing it out the entire time and you are very strong for being able to do that. I have no doubt in my mind that you will move on to do incredible things in the world and leave your mark. You have a lot of potential whether you like to realize it or not. 
Having you as a friend is an amazing choice that anyone could make because you are always there for the people who need you and people will always be there for you. I am very proud to call you my friend and I love you and just know that I will always be there for you and everyone appreciates you. Hey Kirsten, it's your big brother. I just want to say how proud I was that you're graduating. I hope you have a great 2020. And I love and I miss you. Please be safe. Congratulations on graduating. So proud of you, sis. Hey Kirsten, congratulations on graduating. So excited and so proud. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I love you and I miss you. Hey Kirsten, congratulations on graduating. I love you. Congratulations. We love you and we're so proud of you. Hey Kirsten, congratulations on graduating. I'm really proud of you. And when you get here this summer, we can all go out and celebrate. I'm really proud of you. Hey there little lady. Well, today's the day you're graduating. You've worked really hard. You've accomplished so much. I've never been more proud of another person in my entire life. Um, you've completed this chapter, and I cannot wait to see what you do with the next chapter of your life. I see only amazing, beautiful things in your future. Everything you could possibly deserve. Like I said, I love you, and I'm very proud of you. And I just want to say... Kirsten is awesome. Totally. Congratulations. This next diploma reads, Misael Orion Eric Triplett. Mies, you are such a swell guy. Your heartwarming kindness and humility are inspiring. I've seen you tackle difficult physics and math and astronomy problems in the back of my room, and this scholastic dedication will serve you well as you head off to Sac State next year. Some of my best moments at retreat have been running with you through the woodlands. Your easy gait and fun conversation allowed me to get to know you. And you always back off the pace just a little bit to make sure I could keep up until the last mile where you'd fly down the trail at your own pace, leaving me in the dust and heading off into the future. Misael Orion Eric Triplett. Okay, so I can remember the night that I got a phone call at work, it was 9.30 at night, and they said, we have this baby who needs a home. He was born three and a half months early. He weighed two pounds. <sighs> he now weighs four pounds and he's two months old. He needs a place to go. He took a bottle and he needs a home. He may never walk or talk, and um, you know what? Your dad and I signed on not knowing what we were getting into, not knowing what to expect, but we always knew that children were going to be a part of our life. And so we went the next morning to Santa Rosa, 9.30 a.m., walked into that hospital and went through a bunch of tests and videos and things. And so they finally said, okay, you can get to go into this one room where we have the NICU babies in their little incubators. And we walked in and I can remember zoning right in on you. And I looked around at all of those other freaking um, not so you were the best baby in there. Anyway, I was hoping you were mine. So when they came in and they were like, that's your baby, I was like, oh boy, we're lucky. I had no idea how lucky we were. Not only did I meet you that day, I met the probably, oh man, the nicest person, the most dedicated person, the most loyal person, um, someone who strives for their goals, who meets them, who surpasses them, who stands up for others, who looks out for people, who's the best big brother, who is one of the most 
wonderful people I honestly have ever met in my life, and I don't even understand how I got to be a part of it. But son, I've never been so proud of anything in my life as I am of you. You're the one, I mean, honestly, yeah. I'm stumbling over my words because I'm an idiot and I don't like being on camera, but damn it, son, you know I love you. I've never been so proud. I've never been so honored to be a part of anyone's life. So thank you for everything you've done for us. And I love you and I hope the best for your future. Um, dude, you absolutely kick ass. Thank you for letting me be a part of it. Congratulations, Misael, class of 2020. Mama, out. This next diploma reads Sky Estelle Starkweather. I've watched Sky grow from a fiery, tiny soccer player into the spirited young woman she is today. Sky is an old soul with spunk and pizzazz. Whether she is backpacking, performing on stage, or baking heavenly confections, Sky brings energy and enthusiasm to everything she does. Sky has been accepted to UC Davis. Western Colorado University, and the Culinary Institute of America. Sky, whichever school you choose and wherever your life leads you, I know that you are going to do amazing. We're gonna miss you. Congratulations, Sky, on your graduation. It has been a gift to watch you grow into yourself the past 17 years and I'm grateful for the close relationship we share. You really do light up the room with your creative ideas, your lighthearted nature, your hilarious humor, and your passion for life. I love you and wish you all the luck on your next adventure. The day you were born is the day I became a father and my life was forever changed for the better. Today is the day we celebrate not just your graduation, but the person you have become. Sky, you are a breath of fresh air, fiercely independent and self-assured. You have a keen mind, a wicked sense of humor, and your enthusiasm and joy rubs off on those around you. I could not be more proud of you. There is no question if you are ready for this world. The question is, is this world ready for you? Sky, thank you so much for being part of my life. I cherish every moment and memory with you. You're the most confident and understanding person I know. I know your graduation may not be as you expected, but I hope you still enjoy it. I love you. Congratulations. Oh, beautiful Sky. So proud of you, honey. Congratulations. Hi, Sky. Happy graduation to the girl that has led cooking camp up in the Andes in Chile, backpacked through the Rockies and the Lost Coast, and speared fish in Mexico. I love you. Happy graduation. You're awesome. Congratulations, Sky. Me, Jordan, love you. Hi, Sky. Congrats on graduating. Hope you do well in college. I love you. Happy graduation to you. Grandma and I are thrilled to be a part of your graduation celebration, and we want to both congratulate you, but also at the same time to acknowledge your amazing talents and capabilities. Suffice it to say, we think you're truly awesome. Congratulations, Congratulations Sky. Sky! We love, love you, you and we wish you all the best. Congratulations! Congratulations, Sky! Congratulations, Sky! Hi, Sky! When I think of you, I think of sunshine. I think of laughing until my belly hurts. I think of the way that you bring people together. You're the most confident and unique high school student that I've ever met, and I'm so happy that I was able to be a part of your high school career. Hi, Sky! Congratulations, and then when it comes to the coronavirus, we will go to the Sao to cocinera, yeah? Congratulations to the class of 2020. The world is waiting for you. Congratulations, Sky!